So, uh, in keeping with my series of strange unboxing videos that I've done on my YouTube channel, um, this is the Chase Payment Tech Welcome Kit. All right. Now, what I know is going to be in here is a credit card reader. Now, where to, where to begin? If you have a business that you're starting and you want to take credit cards, there are uh, entry-level ways of doing things like you could... Uh, there, there's an attachment that people have for their, their smartphones, you know, and they could just run cards that way. Um, there's there's one through PayPal that uh, you could use, but it would not fit the the level of thing that I'm doing. This is actually a, a real business venture that's a little bit higher in scale, so I have to do this the right way. You wouldn't believe the rigmarole I had to do just to get this. Um, and then uh, some of the, the process of getting this made me realize that I had to do other things first, like, uh, let's say, start my business account before getting this, because I didn't want the money from this going into my other accounts. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it was a, a bit of work, and through the process I learned that you can get this for free. This, this whole box, right? But if you do, you get a worse rate when you uh, get charged for credit card processing. And I don't even know that I'm at liberty to tell you um, the exact rate that I got, but I did see the difference between um, the rate uh, per transaction that you were, are charged. And basically, if you pay for this unit that I'm, that I'm opening right now, see, this is the unboxing process. If you pay for this unit, you get a better rate that basically pays for itself within six months um, for the style of, of business that I want to do with it, um, guaranteed within six months. Um, it could be as short as uh, two or three. So, yeah, it's uh, worth it to look into whether or not it's worth it to just get the machine for free or pay for it. Now, paying for it, this thing costs more than an Xbox 360. And mind you, I don't even own an Xbox 360, and, and I've been uh, wanting to buy one. So, it's a little pricey, you know, for what it is. This is the first look into it, and it's got some bubble wrap. Yay! Little inflatable packaging. And the first thing I see are a whole bunch of wrap rolls of paper. This is interesting. All this. Paper. This will probably come in handy. And then there's these. Um, don't know what these are, but that's what they look like. I remember um, a machine that used to be able to like run over this part. And if and you sandwich the card in and like it would make an imprint of the card. Um, I don't know if that's what this is. It's a sales slip original. Hmm. I guess you just call them sales slips. Bank card sales slips. Two part. Okay. Then over here we've got some. Uh, we've got the packing slip right here. And a welcome to Chase Payment Tech pamphlet here. Um, it's got a whole bunch of uh, information for me. 
And this is a, a quick start little guide. This will this will come in handy. I gotta remember where this is. And another quick reference guide here. And ooh, ooh! I was about to have to go on uh, eBay to buy these. Uh, these are stickers that actually say what kind of payments you will be able to take. I was wondering about that, if, the, if it would come with it. So, awesome. Yes. And this is an MIS CPS card cleaner. I guess this is for cleaning the, uh, the reader in case it gets dirty. If the card number is manually keyed, you must imprint the card to prove the card was present. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Um, and it's giving me uh, voice authorization numbers in order to authorize someone... Basically, there's this... Uh, I already know this part. There's qualified and unqualified purchases, and basically, um, an unqualified would be like if you took their card from them and ran it in yourself, rather than them swiping it and putting in their own PIN. And the percentage of the, the sale that goes to the credit card company actually doubles if you do it unqualified. If you do it qualified, which they consider to be the most secure, then... Uh, you basically save what would be around instead of on a twenty dollar purchase something like instead of uh, only being charged twenty cents by the credit card company you could get charged forty if you decide to just like do it sloppy and and not do what the credit card company wants you to do um, and those would be the unqualified purchases um, it. And th that terminology was really weird to me when I learned it. But uh, I actually called them and asked. Um, yeah, it's got uh, forces and, and all this stuff in this little manual. I actually have training that I scheduled for over the phone in two days. And I'm going to film that training. <laughs> I might actually put it up on my YouTube channel. Um, just because whoever goes through this stuff, you know, and then shares it with the world. Just me. Just me. Just crazy me. Alright. So, that's all that. Um, now for this box. Which was half of this box. Which, I've showed you everything else that's in it. So, it's just down to this little box right here. This is what I spent $355 on in uh, May of 2013 dollars. Alright. This is a little dinky Ethernet cable. This will get me like maybe... Oh, it says three foot, but seems like one or two. That's dinky. And huh. That's that that's a zip tie mount and a zip tie on the cable right there. And then there's this. This plugs into either phone lines or internet lines. However you wanna plug it up, they will be able to get you. The, mine in particular will be going right into uh, a router on an internet connection, but uh, it's got a whole bunch of, uh, I guess, test runs that somebody's already done. They tested it to see that it worked, and still has the plastic on the screen. 
never see that ever in a store. You know, you've never seen a card reader this brand new unless you set one up yourself. Um, this is the ICT 250, and um, it can read cards when you swipe them. It can you can uh, put card. There's a chip card you can put in this way. It uh, you you can do Google Wallet, and there's that uh, phone Bluetooth tap thing, and. Uh, all sorts of different types of payments that you can do with this. Um, PayPal. <laughs> uh, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah. Debit, credit, all that. All in one machine. And, uh, I feel like this will get my business going pretty quickly. Um, this and cash. Um, I, I've decided that uh, personal checks aren't going to be accepted in my business because this thing doesn't take personal checks. If it did, if there were some way to run it through like they do at uh, Walmart, I might even take personal checks. That's the one thing this thing does not do. Everything else uh, it handles outside of cash. So. So you've got the help desk line right there in case I have a problem. Alright, what else is in this box here? It's got some additional doohickeys kind of trapped in the bottom. Power supply for it. And the phone cable is a lot longer than the Ethernet cable. There's the power supply. I'm probably going to use one of my own Ethernet cables just to get the thing further away from where I want to stick the Ethernet connection. So the power supply kind of looks like a uh, uh, old laptop power supply type deal. Um, yeah. It's been a while since I've had a laptop power supply like that. But that's it. That's all you get when you get a uh, credit card reader in the mail. Costs a lot of money initially, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. Just check it out. Yeah. It's probably worth it to buy it rather than get it free from any service that you want to go through. Um, I went through Chase Payment Tech because I shopped around and, and um, I've had Chase since... Uh, I had a stint on unemployment, and they gave me a card, and then running my uh, debit card for unemployment through their machine, it said, we'll give you $100 if you uh, start a checking account with us, and I was like, really? They they have ads like that right just right there? And um, on my next job, I got a checking account with them and had my direct deposit put into their bank and they gave me the hundred dollars you know and they've hooked me up ever since um, as a veteran uh, my business account has no service charges on it at all with Chase so um, I've been very very happy with their service <laughs> very happy um, but you know shop around shop around and, and see what you guys come up with but uh, I'll uh, probably have an update after my training, and, and just I'll, I'll just put the training video up of me training on this thing and, and seeing uh, how many mistakes I make at first. That should be awesome, because it's over-the-phone training, and, uh, you know, I, I do a lot better with uh, visual aids, like, you know, someone showing me first, so I'm going to have to show myself. Um, but this is the way you got to do it if you want to get it set up quick. Um, also with this comes a site survey, and I believe the company doing it is called NCCI, and they, I believe, just, uh, make sure that you're PCI compliant, and they want to see that you're an actual business, and they take pictures of what you're doing and stuff. 
Um, just another, you know, security thing. Um, they don't just let everybody just get a card reader and start taking people's information. No, they actually um, do stuff to check up and see if it's a legitimate business operation going on. So keep that in mind if you were thinking about just grabbing one of these and running people's cards. Um, so yeah, that was the Chase Paribin Tech card reader unboxing.